So this fire alarm right here is the new Faraday 5394 chime strobe that I recently unboxed. And today we're going to be spinning the little frequency wheel on the back here and picking the alarm frequency for today's system test in the garage. I'm going to go ahead and apply power here and we can either pick a low sounding frequency or a high sounding frequency. Here we go. And I think we're just going to leave it at this low sounding one here. Time to replace this Gentex Commander 3 from the last system test with this new Faraday fire alarm. Here we go. There we are. Welcome to SCR System Test 32. For the pull station, I've replaced this Mirtone pull station from the last system test with a different Mirtone pull station. This right here is a Mirtone 73303U. For the alarm, it is the same as the last system test. It's the Cerberus Powertronics MTL-S15-S. -S. However, I have changed it to a new tone. So it is right now set on single stroke chime. It'll make a beat of noise, and then it'll just be like a remote strobe since this is set on continuous. And I have it like that so it doesn't drown out the other chime that we have in this test because this is a ladder alarm and then I have reactivated the security siren so this is wired into the fire alarm control panel and when it detects that there is a fire it will do the temporal 3 pattern and you also get to hear this in this system test. The security system is a Honeywell Vista wired into a first alert keypad. I've made a lot of other videos on this so go check those out if you want to see more of it. And then the fire alarm control panel is a Kitta FX-64. I'm thinking we'll start off the system test today by doing a regular alarm activation with this pull station here. And then we'll reset the system and then put the panel into walk test mode. And then we'll test the other three initiating devices that are in the garage, like it's a fire alarm inspection. So without further to do, let's go ahead and pull the fire alarm. Here we go. That chime strobe is definitely nice and quiet compared to the other alarms. All right, let's go ahead and reset this pull station here. It does kind of take two hands, which is why I have the camera on a tripod. But essentially, you have to stick a long flathead screwdriver into the top here, and then you have to do it enough to bend this piece of metal and then have it latch onto this little bar right here. So let's go ahead and try it out. And there we go, it's reset. And then we'll go ahead and reset the main fire alarm control panel here. It normally takes about a minute to reset. And we'll also reset the security system. Let's go ahead and put the fire alarm system into walk test mode. So generally every single fire alarm device in a building needs to be inspected by a professional once a year. So walk test is a feature that most fire alarm control panels have, which allows an inspector to walk around the building and test different initiating devices without having to run back to the fire alarm control panel and silence and reset the alarm every single time. So the system is right now in test mode, which causes a trouble. And I can go around and test these smoke detectors. The alarms will come on for a few seconds to let me know that the detector is working and then they'll automatically stop so I can just move on to the next detector. 
All right, let's test our first automatic smoke detector today with some canned smoke. Here we go. And there it is. The alarms went off for a few seconds. I know it's working now. And then the fire alarm control panel went back into trouble mode. So that'll beep, but the alarms did stop after a few seconds. The detector on the other side of the garage is actually a dual smoke and heat detector. And it's been a while since I've tested the heat portion of this detector. So let's go ahead and do that today with a hair dryer. Here we go. And lastly here, we'll go ahead and test out the heat detector that's in the attic. Here we go. Sounds like it's working. Now that everything's been tested, we'll go ahead and take the system out of walk test mode by going back into the settings, going into the walk test menu, all devices, and we'll hit end. There we go, the walk test has now been completed. So while we're on the topic of inspections, I thought I'd take a second to talk about today's sponsor, which is a company called InspectPoint. InspectPoint is a tailored and scalable cloud-based software that is designed to aid your modern day inspection and service organization, whether they are just starting and they're small or a full-on large company. InspectPoint offers quick inspection and bulk inspection features, which can allow a technician or inspector to capture data digitally and customize inspection forms and reports to ensure consistency and accuracy. There's also a lot of features such as automated report generation that saves a lot of time and can reduce errors. These reports can come with custom question sets and custom NFPA reports and codes to digitally provide tailored and accurate documentation for every inspection. Traditional paper-based inspections can be inefficient and time-consuming, and this can allow for errors to be made. Whereas with this software, it streamlines the entire process for every building's emergency system and service setup. InspectPoint offers tools for not just a building inspection, but the entire customer relationship process, such as quote creation tools, client scheduling tools, and invoicing capabilities. From start to finish, this software makes the entire process easy and it saves a lot of time. Different service areas will often use a joint software, such as the Compliance Engine, which is a different software and service that allows for tracking of all the different code violations and also comes with a lot of different tools for these organizations. The Compliance Engine also allows the AHJ to track all the different violations within the area so everybody's on the same page. What's nice about InspectPoint is they're the only fire inspection software that seamlessly integrates with the Compliance Engine. This makes compliance reporting easier and more efficient than other fire inspection software solutions. Ultimately, InspectPoint offers a software that has every tool you need to make the fire inspection process from start to end very easy. It makes it go smooth, it saves a lot of time, and it saves a lot of money for these service organizations. And they sponsor today's video, so huge thank you to that. I will leave a link to the InspectPoint website in the description if you'd like to go check them out to learn a little more. Other than that, thank you for watching today's system tests. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and please have a great day.